my real name is Chantal Jans van Rinsberg. My art name is Tala in SA. I'm from Pretoria, actually. Um, not born, but bred most of my life. I spend there. Um, I'm a hobbyist fan artist, basically. And my current obsession, if you will, is paper art. So I do paper cuttings and paint them and layer them up and you get your final product. <laughs> What has been some of the biggest influences or inspirations for your art style and Definitely Disney. Um, I love Disney since I was a little girl. I've absolutely loved Disney. The old masters, Leonardo da Vinci, Michelangelo, definitely also great inspirations. And then Alfonso Mucha, so you can see, very Mucha inspired kind of style as well. So. Uh, now for the serious question. Okay. <laughs> Uh, life, probably. <laughs> Especially day jobs and you know chores, you know, uh, because I do have a day job being just a hobbyist artist, and um, sometimes life does get in the way. But uh, you do make time for your art, and I find it very relaxing. It's my way to relax and just focus a bit inward on myself and calm down. So that's what I love about art. It calms me down and I can get a perspective on life again. Uh, I think my biggest obstacle was at the one stage I was a little bit disappointed with my job. It didn't go where I wanted to go and so I started focusing on my art to get a little bit more and that really helped my um, spiritual well-being as well as my physical well-being. So I do think art is a form of therapy as well, definitely. Uh, but yeah, in general, it's just the laundry and the garden that gets in the way, the cooking of the food kind of thing. But yeah. <laughs> and then um, the last question, do you have any advice for anyone who might be sending you there? Just try to do it at your own pace. Don't feel disappointed if you can't get to something in one week. The next week you might be able to art the whole week. You don't know. Um, some weeks are a little bit more, a bit of a struggle in general than others. You know, stuck in meetings, stuck in traffic, whatever life might throw at you. Uh, but it, I find if you just take it at a leisurely pace, um, a pace that suits your lifestyle as well, you do get around to it and uh, you do finish that project you've been hankering to finish and it's always great when you um, get away from the office and you know oh I have an hour I can spend an hour just focusing on my art for a little bit and then I can do my chores or whatever the case might be and it's really soothing for the soul so if you can do make that time if you don't have the time that week don't feel disappointed you'll find another time to do so, so.